What's up everybody, my name is Kwame and I help you take better pictures and videos with your phone, camera, or tablet. Today, I just have a really short video. I want to talk about some exciting news that came out of Google I.O. last week. If you don't know, Google I.O. is Google's uh, de developer conference where they talk about the future of Android and in this case, the future of Chromebooks. So Chromebooks are laptops made with Google's Chrome OS by a host of manufacturers. The one I have right now is made by Acer and it's the Acer Chromebook 11. And Google announced that Android apps will be able to run on Chromebooks here in the near future. Uh, probably not till later on this summer. This is really exciting and I actually got Lightroom Mobile up and running using a program called uh, Arc Welder. And so this is not an official release. This is, you know, Arc, Arc Welder is made to help um, test your apps or something like that. I don't know exactly how, it, how it's supposed to work, but I know you can run, you know, Android apps on Chrome this way. Not all apps work, but Lightroom Mobile actually works pretty decent. So you can see it looks like it would be on a large uh, tablet where using the trackpad, I can scroll up and down. I can see all the pictures that are on my, in sync to my Lightroom Mobile account. I can even add pictures. Um, you, right now using this, program it won't let me access the SD card or the memory card in here but it, when this is released officially you'll be able to add them you know from your SD card from your camera if you're out and about and if I go into a folder here you'll see all my pictures are um, synced over and then if I want to let's say, open up this picture here of this Buffalo it's going to start sinking over down where I can actually do some edits. Now it does take a while on here I've noticed. So again, when this is officially released, this is gonna work a lot faster. Being that this is on Arc Welder, uh, you know, it's, it's working. I don't know if I would use it as a everyday thing, but in a pinch, yeah, this kind of does work. Um, you know, you have all your uh, settings down here that you can play with. You know, if I wanted to change the clarity or something, I can do that. You just have to drag it and pull, and it works. Like, it's really cool. So I'm really excited about the future of Android apps on Chromebooks because this will open up a lot of doors for people who you know Let's say you don't want a tablet, but you still want a laptop that has a full web browser uh, and, and you can run your Android apps on here like Snapseed, VSCO, Google Photos, Lightroom Mobile You can get a lot done that way. I mean really uh, Being a working photographer, I use Lightroom Mobile and Snapseed quite a bit to tweak pictures on the fly. And this would be awesome to do. There are Chromebooks that have a touch screen like the Asus, uh, I think it's called the Asus Flip. That one looks really cool. I, I can't wait to get my hands on it. Uh, and that could be a laptop or a, a tablet killer. And in, for a lot of people, in all honesty, it could be a laptop killer if you don't need the full features of Windows and Mac OS. All right, again, this is just a quick look, not even an official look. I'm just really excited about what's the possibility of coming out with uh, Android apps running on uh, Chromebooks. And this is a very quick look at a, a Lightroom mobile on Chromebook. If you do want to see more of these type of videos, please give me a thumbs up. I can try running Snapseed on here, um, Adobe Photos, you know, Adobe Premiere. We'll see what works, what doesn't work, and just keep going. And then when it's officially released, of course, I will have a ton of videos for you about using, uh, again, VSCO, Snapseed, Lightroom Mobile, Google Photos, all that on your Chromebook. All right, well, as I always say, I hope, hope you learned something, and I will check you out in the next video. Bye.